Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to the World Series 2024. Back here today with another round number one. We are closing in on the round number ones now. I promise we're not many left. Uh, this is down in the south position with the orange Julie demolition for the player that is Hero. Actually, when I first started streaming on Twitch, um, Hero was one of my first viewers and subscribers and supporters. So shout out to Hero. Up in the top, we have the uh, Cyan, China Nuke. For the player that is Nur. KZ Nur. Actually, don't know too much about Nur. Uh, fun fact for you. You know, the other day, though, I said um, a Zest and his game, and he might be a little bit of a dark horse. Um, I <laughs> somehow found the stat of Nur against the Zest. And Nur's record, it was like 19 wins for him and like one win for a Zest. It was like 19 1 to Nur. But. I think that was from like two years ago when Azes first started playing the game. So, um, yeah, it doesn't mean that there's some legendary beast. However, he might be because I actually haven't seen him play that much. I've probably played him a couple of times on ZH Ladder, but I probably uh, I probably am not the best person to ask about his uh, skill level. We've got a uh, forward wall factory and a helix for him. It's going to be probably a Gatlix and he's probably going to pick up a flamer. And probably try and drop it on the arms dealer here of Hero. Hero's got a bad box going on here. Needs to get his workers in there. It's too tight of a box for the workers to be moving around. He needs to get six in there, ideally. Or even seven. Helix is already out. And where is it? It's over here. It's going to be a Gatlix, actually. Over on the left-hand side, he's going to find this worker. There's a... Either an RPG or worker inside of that bunker, too. Flame is straight through the middle, though. And Hero is going to probably lose this supply unless he pops an absolute ton of stuff. He's got a Scorpion out, but it's in the wrong place. Flamer is going to come in, and Hero is definitely going to lose this supply. Not looking good of a start there for Hero. But he has come in with a Tech RPG, and he is it hitting the trucks. Two trucks have gone down there very, very fast. Thing is about doing a really tight... Oh. I was just going to say a really tight box is that you... Uh, don't let any battle masters in but he's not actually boxed it so yeah not the greatest of bases there from hero and it's probably game already because he's lost all of the workers on both supplies that supply is completely dead battle masters are streaming across the licks is still in play he's a sneaky worker on the right but it doesn't matter you can't lose that many workers as the GLA against the new can still expect to win that's game But I do think... Oh, could have got a super tech there, but Scrap the Knight comes in. I do think Nur plays on, on the ladder. As I said, I think I've seen him on ladder before. I think he does play, but I don't see Hero playing all so much. He might be playing there, but I don't think he's that active if he is. At least every time I look on there. Maybe it's a different time zone to me, but every time I look on there, don't really see him uh, playing. So maybe Nur's the favorite here, just based on activity and stuff. Okay, Galax coming in to save... The day against this technical. Technical's already caused a bit of damage here. We're damaging these trucks. He's going to lose another truck. Uh, quad's now coming out from Hero. He's got three in total. But this is looking pretty solid from there. Isn't it? The, the build's all completely solid. The only uh, little thing on the, the nitpick, as we say, if we're picking at every tiny detail, is losing them two trucks earlier. And even losing that third one quite easily. Don't think is that great, but now there's quads out. Now you just go into double, a double war factory battle master spam, or a prop and get your oils overlord. This is looking um, massively in favor now for Nur. I think over the last like 12 months or so, I'm just seeing Nuke win all the time against GLA. Of course, sometimes you see the GLA win too. But just I just see Nuke winning, like, most of the time. Especially on open maps like this, where the uh, the Battle Masters usually find their way into the supply line. And with a bad box like that, you're going to lose all of the uh, workers there as well. So 1-0 to no, Well played. Okay, jumping into the next one. We have up in the north position, the Orange China Nuke for the player that is Hero. And down in the south position, we have the Julie Demolition for the Cyan player. This is Nur. 
Yeah, there's a, there's a player in StarCraft 2 called Hero, and he is like uh, one of the best in the game, what a, a true legend, like won multiple tournaments. I think he plays Protoss in StarCraft 2. Imagine if that hero came and played, or imagine any StarCraft 2 player came and played some Zero Hour. How good would they be? And if we had a super AI playing Zero Hour as well. If you had an AI design in maps as well, like what weird and wonderful and crazy maps could it come up with? I'm really excited about the future, about how AI can change things. Imagine you had an AI that can just pick up any game and after four hours it can be a beast. It would be, uh, you'd see all kinds of weird and wonderful new strategies. APM of 60,000. I saw there was a StarCraft 2 bot created the other day and it had an APM of 60,000. <laughs> it's just mental. Not that you need that in Zero Hour, but... Um, okay, no with a, a better box. It's actually a really decent box, but he's only got four workers collecting in there. He's got a tunnel on the right. Tunnel on the mid. Tunnel probably going to be eventually on the left. Don't really need to react too much against that truck. Apart from when it gets over to the left. That's when it will become, become a problem. He's going to go close as well to stop the scrap deny. That's really good play from the top level play. Yep. That's what experience of ZH Ladder does for you. Watching, watching the pros play. Scrap deny was probably possible, but a lot less possible. And now he's already got a grenade tech, and that's going to damage trucks. With splash damage, it's going to kill trucks faster. It's a TNT that is frozen in time. It's only a three TNT. He's not down. Oh, he is demo. Huh. I thought it was regular GLA, but I remember now he is demo. Oh, he's ran into some mines here, though, but it doesn't matter too much. You've still TNT'd the War Factory. Would have been better just to park here and harass them trucks, I suppose. Battlemaster did get in and kill a ton of workers there. Still only collecting on four workers on his main. Definitely wants to add two workers there. Yeah, Scorpion's a bit annoying when you've only got Gats out. Flaming through the middle. Scorpion RPG push on the left. Scorpion RPG generally against Nuke in the early game is pretty good. Because the Battlemasters get wrecked by the Scorpions and RPG combo. But once the Helix comes out and starts picking off the Scorpions, then the Nuke should be able to clear it. Is the Helix going to be a Gatlix? It is. It's kind of a slowish uh, Gatlix. So he did opt for the three supplies first. It's looking better for Hero than the last game. Quite even so far. He is on three supplies. He has taken down this uh, supply though, Nur has. Scorpion went down. Got a Vet 1 Helix. Could be a way to balance China Vanilla, by the way, is to get a General's promotion early on. That one helix could be pretty good. If you wanted to balance China Vanilla a bit, because it probably loses a bit more than other factions. But yeah, you got to be careful, actually, because uh, China Vanilla... That's my computer, by the way. It's rendered the, the last World Series set that I'm doing. Um, I got what I was saying now. This Battlemaster will go down. Scorpion also going to go down. A quad pops. Quad also goes down. Yeah, it's looking pretty good here. Yeah, you got to be careful if you had that one Helix is actually of China then being too OP against some stuff like Demo, for example. Because the Helix spam is like a really viable strat. Yeah, Nurse struggling a little bit here to cause some significant damage. He has picked off a couple of trucks, but the prop is ready now. Uh, Hero needs to get back on his third supply, but not currently enough cash in the bank for it. He 
Another Battlemaster for Hero. He's bringing his Gatlix. It would be cool if that was a Bunker Lix. You could have got a few Scorpions then. Perhaps. But Overlords, Battlemasters are out. Needs to get more trucks there as well. Is he bringing the truck with his army? I think he is. He's bringing the truck with his army by mistake. Poor Hero, man. He is uh, remaking that third supply now. Needs to get subliminal messaging. He has captured one oil, but the other oil is in the hands of Nur. Nur with a bit of a pop here. But against that Overlord, he might struggle, especially if an ECM comes across. He needs to get more trucks here and here. And there's third supplier getting hit. And Nur has been defeated. Wow, maybe that was even a bit premature. I think there was you maybe a victorious. chance he could have held. But uh, yeah, N Nuke winning twice. You see what I mean about Nuke? 1-1 <laughs> one, one is the score. Okay, jumping into the next one. We've got the USA Laser down in south of Tournament Desert. This is the orange player. This is Hero. Up in the north position with the China Nuke. It could go 1-1 one, one, this because it is an imbalanced matchup. This is the Cyan player. But the China Nuke it is Nur. Yeah, that's going to be solid for laser and hard for the nuke. If you make battle masters, if you make gats, if you make a fast prop, if you whatever you make, uh, V's and missile defenders just tend to wreck it all. The V micro has to be decent though. Let's see how hero is going to manage his V's. It's even remotely decent. It's de definitely difficult for the nuke. Is it going to be a fast prop in the back though? Sometimes you might tuck your dozer there and build a prop or. Yeah, he is building a prop. Does Hero know this, though? So he's done a drone there. It is a known strat to do a fast prop. So I, I think he's used his scan and his drone here. Which I don't really like the position of that drone. Sometimes, as the USA, you want to do your drone over this side on Tournament Desert, just in case he does go for this fast prop, because it's very useful to know. Because, for example, you might send your first V straight across the map to stop it, or you might even drop it in a Chinook. If that gets up... It's going to be um, it's going to be hard because Overlords and ECMs are going to be out pretty quick. And Hero hasn't recognized it and he's actually just bunkering in, allowing the nuke to get to Overlords ECM. It's uh, a massive blow for the laser. Okay, Battlemaster coming in for Nerf. I think he's going to get one dozer there, unless... Oh, there's four mi missile defenders inside of there. Let's see if Hero's paying attention there. Mm. It's not 100% on point. That V shouldn't go that low. Don't want to risk it. Don't know what the ping was like here. I imagine it was okay. That can affect things. I think Hero might realize what's up now, uh, but it's going to be very difficult when these Overlords ECM start coming across. Hero has not read the game properly. He is coming in with two quite fully loaded Vs. This is probably one of the best things to do. Making laser tanks and MDs to laser lock the hell out of this, and then come in and pick off some of the base with two fully loaded Vs. I actually think that's kind of good. Alternative would be just trying to hold this. Could be okay too, but I actually like the bit of aggression there. Puts the pressure on the nuke. Yeah, Nur's not got subliminal messaging. He's taking a lot of damage on this overlord. Let's clear out this bunker. Prop's getting killed. And they're going back. Is Hero going to take the lead here? Might actually... Yeah, two loaded Vs like this, I, I really like it. Definitely the right call. And Nur has gone back as well. 
thought no would have carried on fighting this. And I thought, I thought it would have been a bit of a base trade then, honestly. I thought this would have died. And this would have carried on killing the base. Definitely want to see Subliminal Meshin and Speaker Tower bonus. But he's lost his prop, hasn't he? So he has to rebuild it. Uh, Lotus getting the second oil. So even though he's lost that supply, he's got the two oils to make up for it. These Vs want to pick off that power and then probably the dozer. I think that's the last dozer, isn't it? Other ones already been picked off by the looks of it. It was up the top left by the prop. It's going to be a massive laser log here probably from Hero. Could be a bit of a highlight reel thing. Make it into the World Series final trailer if it's me doing it. Always looking out for points like that. Uh, can hear Lois. Huh. She's not doing it for me, but I didn't hear her. Huge laser log coming in here. The MD standing in the radiation a bit, but one overlord looking like it's going to go down. It does go down. Other, other overlord is very low. The two Vs went running away. The prop is uh, now going to be resumed. Yeah, Lewis just kind of chilling in the back. Don't want to capture near the Vs because the Vs will just uh, kill it straight away. Maybe a little bit of a cash hack. Down at the bottom right, he seems to be where there could be a Lotus though, and he's going to find it. Ooh. It must be so close. He's going to find it now, surely. Holy moly. He's found it. He's found it. Has found it. Very nice uh, game sense there from Hero. Just didn't... He didn't read the build in the beginning. That's all, but well played. Realising they're going to be a Lotus in the base. Yeah, looking a bit rough for no. He's still in. It's not looking amazing for him, is it? If that ECM dies, that Overlord's dead. Yeah, very, very quick. Looking pretty good for Hero. He's going to go 2-1 uh, up by the looks of it. There's a bit of a push here from Nur, but he quits. GG, a solid from uh, Hero. Despite, I don't think he read the build in the, in the beginning, but I think that 2v push was really epic by him. 2-1. For hero. Okay, so up in the north position now with a China nuke. This is the orange player. This is hero. Yeah, I imagine this is going to be a 2 2. Don't know if Nur's going to lose with a laser, but we shall see. This is the uh, cyan laser in the south position. This is Nur. Here we're going for a different build. He's going for a Gatlix oil capture by the looks of things. Sadly for him though, that supply hasn't quite worked out. It actually looks kind of like a perfect supply, but what's going on with that truck? Maybe the trucks will reorganize themselves. Sometimes they take a bit of jigging around before they uh, get into their final position. No spotted the build. Knows what's going on. Only two MDs in there, so if the Gatlix is out, it will stop that. Hero probably wants to go in that bunker or hang back until the Gatlix is out for protection. Always use protection. If he comes in, the, the Lix is out, but no uh, Gat just yet. One of the tricks of Hero goes down, the Lix. The, uh, the Gat is in play now, but Tome Missiles is already out. Laser Lock comes in. The Lix wasn't instantly on the MDs, which is what it should be. But either way, he has cleared it up and did keep one truck alive. He lost the other Dozer. War Factory now being built by Hero on the left. Not a bad build by Hero. I actually kind of like the, the attempt. It's going to be hard for the nuke regardless. Might as well try something. That Lix needs to be repaired, though, realistically. I think he's sending it over to this Dozer. 
Now sending it over to the Vs. I don't agree with engaging that with the weak clicks. Nah, that's a bad decision. It was all good from Hero until that point. Maybe, maybe the only other thing he should have done was put the Red Guard inside of there until the Gatlix was out. Is a drop from Nur. Is he going to hunt? Yes, yeah, super solid from Nur. He's hunted now, um, Hero. He's hunted and going to lose all of his trucks. And the oil cap is still not coming in any place. All trucks dead. Mines are out. Nur knows about it. Yeah, good multi asking from Nur. Good uh, reaction to go for the, the V drop. Go for the hunt. Maybe now he's gone 2 1 behind. It's kicked him into overdrive. Looking super solid. It's got to be 2 2. Nice V control. Yeah, multitasking. Very nice. Gets a vet 2 V. That's game. There's nothing Hero can do. His best chance was when the Gatlix was out, but engaging that on the right was a bad decision. Let's be realistic, and he has been defeated. 2-2 two, two is the score. All right, jump into the next one. We're on Black Hell. Love this map down in the bottom left. We have the orange China Vanilla for the player that is Hero. Up in the top right, we have the Cyan China Nuke for the player that is Nur. Nuke against China. Winnable both ways. It's probably going to be... Uh, Overlord ZCM's Gats against Mass Helixes in the China. Both players going barracks first. No, even smart enough to fake that he's gone two supplies straight away. I like that. So even I'm forgetting to do that most of the time. <laughs> and there's here uh, outperforming all of us. <laughs> For the pro strats. Excals are very good at uh, doing that as well. Logico, when he plays, sometimes he's doing that too. I think mainly that's from uh, Excalibur. War Factory and the barracks from Nur. But yeah, he's going to get these oils as fast as he can. Is he going to repair this one? Because this one is pretty low. And likewise, this one here is pretty low. This one's a little bit low, but not as low as the other one. It's actually exactly the same build from both. Let's see whose oil cap is going to be uh, more on point. As soon as the upgrades off cooldown, you want to get it. Let's see whose is just slightly quicker. No. Yeah, Nur's about like one second or two seconds faster. Like that, that one or two seconds can be the difference between you getting the oil or not getting the oil. Which can ultimately change the game. In this case, all the players are going to get all of the oils, but if you're like against the GLA, technical coming in, it could be uh, really, really close if you get that oil or not. Okay, Hero looking to expand already. No airfield. Uh, Hero's floating like 4.7k just then. I would be instantly dropping down a second War Factory or a Helix or both. <laughs> like, you're up against it. China against Nuke. Nuke is better. So you need to be spending all of your cash. Floating 6.2k at this point in the game. Man, what is he doing? Gas coming in now for Nur. Hero spending a bit more of his cash, but he must have just a few units skewed up there. Oh, no, he's built uh, another war factory here. Okay. Yeah, looking... Like, confident for, for Hero to be building a uh, war factory out the front like that. Battlemaster gets picked off. Prop is nearly finished, though, for Nur. Once the Overlord's ECM's... And gas come out. There's going to be very little hero can do about it. The outposts are not quite going to work. He is getting one dozer though. See, if you had a helix now, if you just spent all that cash and gone for a helix, you could come round, hunt that dozer and kill the prop, unload. Yeah, the helix will suicide and probably die, but you can get the uh, get the dozer. Hero also going to lose a dozer, so both players are on one dozer. Yeah, Nurse Prop is ready. He's building a CC now too. He's got plenty of uh, gats around in case there was a Helix. But still, the Helix could have snuck there. Ooh. 
Hero's gonna hunt him. He has got an outpost in. Wow. Massive oversight there by Nur. Has the dozer escaped? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> the dozer needs to keep running. Oh, man. The dozer's still running for it. I think the dozer's going to survive, you know? I think it is. There's a lotus out from Hero. Hero is playing good. He's got overlords of his own. Those are survives now, actually getting repaired. I'm really surprised about that. Maybe if that outpost was moving a little bit quicker. Or paying attention the whole time. Maybe it could have got the dozer, I don't know. Hero unloads a load of tank enters, but is he going to do well there against the Gats and ECMs? Probably not. Gats and ECMs are pure anti-infantry. Uh, Hero going for his own overlords. Quite rare to see, actually. They move so slow. The new overlords are better. Bunker gets cleared. ECM is locking down the overlord. Most of the gats are going down. To see if there was a helix to support now could be good. I mean, he's kind of broke now. He's doing a bit of a counter push here. CC is going to be made after all by the looks of things. It's a bit of a base trade. The uh, prop here of Hero getting hit. Supply of both players. Has no trucks anymore. Wonder who's going to win that engagement because that's disabled currently, which will give this one a few shots first. But there's an ECM there actually, and this is Vet One, so it's firing a bit faster and a bit stronger. Uh, Vet Two now. This is getting stopped. Yeah, it's falling apart for Hero. I think it all comes back to floating 6.2k a few minutes into the game. Yes, it was kind of good. He almost had the hunt. He could have probably had the hunt if he'd have microed that outpost a little bit better. But also, you can't be floating 6.2k in the beginning. You need to be spending all of your cash to win the uh, win the World Series. 3-2 there for Nur. Okay, jumping into the next one. Now we have Hero up at the top right with the China Nuke in the orange. This map created by Tanso, but this uh, map is actually, I think, from a StarCraft 2 design. And I found it, I sent it to Tanso and said, let's create this. And uh, he made it. See, so I was involved with the map design. A lot of the maps in the World Series, I was involved with the design of it. Arctic Arena, another one on Oxygen as well. Uh, down at the bottom left, we have the Cyan China Vanilla for the player that is Nur. So Nur is going for a front tank enter. He's probably going to drop a bunker there. And then he's going for two red guards, body capture upgrade. And then he's going to go into a helix. Pretty common build, maybe adding that is a little bit different to normal. And yeah, bunker is very close to this oil. See whose oil cap is faster again. Bear in mind that Nur made an extra unit first though, which was that tank enter. Is his still going to be quicker, or will it be Heroes? Heroes actually gone for Vet 1 uh, Red Guards. It's Heroes a bit quicker, but only like half a second quicker or something. So, just shows you how fast Nur is it's playing. A little bit more on it with the oil cap. Because he made a tank into first, which takes like, what, three seconds to build or something? Helix is out. Battlemaster is out. Battlemaster will definitely die if it goes past this bunker. It'll take uh, immense damage and then get cleared up by the Licks. Is he going to squeeze by? Taking a lot of damage. Licks has decided to fly away. Yeah, it does go down in the end. Oh, Licks flying over. Got to be careful there because sometimes a Moab explosion happens in that. And when it does, then uh, yeah, apparently you can lose air units. Waiting for that to happen this World Series. Hmm, Battlemaster running off 
in the direction by itself, not supported by any gats. Useful when you capture the oils here to go and actually then get these artillery platforms. On this map, because those artillery platforms provide a bit of vision and they're really strong defenses as well. Really annoying defenses. They fire really slowly, but they do dish out some damage if they take a hit. Three Lixis. Three Gats. But the Lixis have got maneuverability here because they can go over all of the terrain, whereas these Gats have got to go all, all the way around now. And these Lixis, are they going to commit? They're going to find a way out, actually, which is amazing. Loads of gats out now. Is he overreacting with the gats or is it? Um, is it like to be quite expected considering he has three helixes? Probably be to be to be quite expected. He is making ECMs now. Hero. If you make too many gats and just push everywhere, yeah, outposts will counter it. One dozer gets picked off by the gats. Outpost taking damage, but the gats are slowly going down. Lix is flying now to clear this up. Yeah, there's quite a lot of cats out to say the very least. CC now being built. Overlord out. <laughs> Lucifer right. Uh, it's the guy's name who sponsors a load of sets. He's putting thousands of zero. That's thousands of dollars into the sponsored zero hour sets. It's just funny when you actually think about the meaning. <laughs> we have it on a on a zero out map. Alex is still flying around. There's a lot of outposts out and uh, ECMs for Nur, which is pretty much the counter for this. All you want to do is weaken the uh, Gats and then fly in with Elixirs. This is going to be a very important engagement. If there was like a couple more Overlords, I would definitely take this fight as zero. Otherwise, I'm not 100% sure that all the Gats are going to survive because if the Gats start to get weak, there's the Moab explosion, by the way. The gas start to get weak, and then the Lixus come in. All of that army gets cleared, and then all of a sudden it's massively in favor of No. He's got four he Helixes out now. The Gats are being focused. Lixus coming in. The Gats on the run. Helix has decided to turn away. Yeah, hes hesitancy is going to get you killed, and one Lix goes down there pretty much for nothing. Hero, uh, Hero backs off for now. It's expanded to a third supply up on the top left. Yeah, Hero still pushing with mostly uh, ECM's gas. There's actually no overlords in that army at all. His overlords are here, but if those Lixers decide to push across the map now, there's no anti-air there. A little bit risky, to say the very least. Probably wants to think about getting chain guns as well. Hero is here with a uh, Lotus. Could start capturing. Lixers on the way, though. I think, uh, I think he heard the Lotus. Supply going to get captured, but the Lixers are on it. Lois goes down. She would have been better just camping for now and stealing some cash when there's an engagement going on. When he was distracted. Yeah, capturing when he was building a uh, bunker is pretty obvious. He's not hunted. Yeah, CCM thinking about pushing in. Decide to back off. And the Lixers have pounced on this position. I called it before. There was a lack of anti-air. The Gats are now coming out, but it's too late. Going into the main base, it's the power. That could be game. He is killing the base. 
There's so many units on the ground for Nur as well. Well played here for Nur. Spotted no anti-air, pounced on it, and now he's completely stomped the base of Hero. Hero still has a dozer out on the left side, but even the CC is going to go down. This is going to get cleared. The GAT CCM are on the way. But look, he's got a VET 2 Helix, a VET 1. All of the tank enters inside are probably VETed too. And the whole base of Hero has been completely annihilated. Helix is just chilling at the back for now. Artillery and carpet coming from Nur. It's probably going to be on these positions. Not sure exactly where the carpet's on. Is that those are going to survive? Lixus jump on these gats. All go down, but it's worth it for deleting the entire base. This supply cleared. This supply's going to get cleared. Hero's going to have 12k, but he's not going to be able to spend it. He's going to lose a dozer soon because this army is on the way. Yeah, GG. Well played there to, to Nur. Really, really showing, uh, showing his skill level there. 4 2 is the score. All right, jumping to the next one. We're now on AK's Magic. Down at the bottom left, we've got the China Vanilla for the orange player. This is Hero. Up at the top right, we have the Cyan China Nuke for the player that is Nur. Nuke against China again, okay. <laughs> I just realized. I was just on autopilot just reading, reading the players' names and uh, armies and didn't realize actually we got exactly the same. So no with the stronger army this time again. The, um, the nuke. Both players going barracks first. Hero is going to go for four red guards in total. It's got the veterancy on the red guard again. Needs to put one there, one there. I'm not sure quite where they're going. Is he sending? Is he sending four red guard down to the bottom right to make sh make sure that he wins it? I think that's what he's doing. <laughs> oh no, he's messed up the micro. Now you need to make sure these are on attack move, or you've got retaliation mode on, or, or, and attack move because you need to make sure you get the first shots against these two. Probably also make sure that they're in a better formation, just side by side. Because whoever gets the first shots off will win the engagement, generally. Okay, first gat is out for Nur. Battlemaster to follow. So Helix versus a gat. The... Uh Engagement for Nerve is going much better. You see how those are both firing. Uh, Hero doesn't have retaliation mode on. His were not firing. The Lix is now out. Does not want to engage the gap, but it is going to probably kill the Battlemaster on the way. Or is it? No, he's not. He's going down to the bottom right to make sure these oils get stopped. It's all falling apart here for Hero. Those red guards needed to be on attack move and or with retaliation. He's rushed over here to stop it, and he is. He's got another red guard here of his own. But that gat has killed the Lix and weakened another one. There's a gat here too, killing another Lix. This is all falling apart, isn't it, for Hero? He's lost two Lixes in two minutes and 45 seconds. Well, he's only got one oil to show for it. Actually, that one has been killed. He is getting another oil, but it's going to take uh, some seriously good play. To come back from that. He's only on two supplies. And uh, also only on two supplies. But nur has got two oils. Lix clears the Battlemaster. Those of Fener gets picked off. Helix goes down. That's the third Helix down in three minutes and 30. More Helix is coming from Nur. Sorry, from uh, Hero. Nur is spamming more and more gats. So he's got his first ECM out. Loads of gats coming in from this right side. Next Helix is out. Another one going to go down, though. It's a Gatlix. There's another Gat in the base. 
It's going to start hitting this, Elix. Probably looking at Hero's last few moments in the World Series. Lost way too many Helixes. There's just Gats all over the place. And Helixes are going down all over the place. They're totally getting shredded. GG Nur is going to progress through to the next round. Welcome to round number two. Mr. Nur, hopefully we'll be streaming some of his games. Looks, uh, looks super solid. Let me know your comments down below, GG. I'll see you in the next one.